Hello everyone and welcome to this design we are going to do here. Today I would like to show something that would be suitable for any school presentation and it would give you a good indication and idea how to approach explaining a topic using PowerPoint. And I got a comment yesterday that too much tutorials are corporate, are business oriented. So let's do something more fun and it will also give you a great idea. Now, no matter what the topic of your presentation is, I strongly want to recommend you to use as little text as possible. I went to flaticon.com, which is a website with icons, but you can use any, any icons you would like or any objects you want to put here. This will be a totally example project. I have here some fruits and veggies and I want to show you on a salad example how I would approach this slide. Let's say that this would be a slide about cooking or about something and this would be my end result. I would put those items on the left side with my shift click I select all of them and now depending on what topic you have you will have objects here and it would be very simple to explain because the only design I will bring here, I'll press Alt 2 and I will put a simple rectangle. I want to use the rectangle in the middle of the slide. In order to make sure that I'm perfectly in the middle, I can either drag it here until the red line appears or I can simply go to align and align it in the middle and center. Okay, this should maybe have another color. I will um, right click format shape. When it comes to the color, maybe gray. When it comes to the transparency, well, I do not want it to be transparent. When it comes to the shape outline, I want to select no outline. And on this playful slide, maybe let's make it green because we have um, these vegetables here. Maybe a light green. Okay. On this slide, I would explain you how to make a salad and I would make an animation to work with that. Let's say that you are explaining a school project. The school project can be about something completely different. It can be physics, it can be about roads, about cars, about anything. But I'm using the salad as an example. I will take those three icons. I will go to my animation and I would go here and select lights. Because I want those objects to go to the right side. So I select all of them. I pick the effect options and I select right. Yeah, this is perfect. So now we can adjust how long this will take. And remember, if this would be behind them, just right click and select bring to front because else, if you bring it to back, those would be visible. I want them to be invisible. Okay. And then the salad, the salad starts here. I go to animation, I go to lines, effect options, right? Because I want the salad to appear. Okay, and what do we have? This salad isn't going far enough. So I need to select this. I am pressing my shift key because I don't want to shift it up and down. I just want it to grow like this. Boom. Now the last step would be going opening the animation pane and see what happens. Once I click my mouse, those three objects disappear and the salad afterwards on the second click will appear. I can maybe, the delay is okay. I will delay it by quarter a second or half a second. Okay, perfect. So let me now show you how I would explain this slide. I would explain you how to make a salad with this very simple animation. I know that you don't see the entire screen now because I have my recording set to the middle, but I would explain something about the salad that a convenient way to make a salad would be to chop up paprika, chop up mango, very weird salad, and use some lettuce. And I would click, all three would disappear. And once you mix everything in a bowl, you, you add ingredients, you add some olive oil, some maybe some sesame to, to spice it up, maybe some, some spices, and voila, on the next click, you have ready salad. This is an example how I would explain a slide without any text on it. And I strongly encourage you, if you do projects for your school, that you 
use presentation only to visualize what you are explaining, just like I did here. You do not need much copy, much text. Have the text in your head because you kind of have to like the topic you are explaining. And this way it will it will be automatically, it will naturally come to you to explain something like this. And I guarantee you the viewers will be very happy when they see something like that. All right, this is all I wanted to teach you here. So basically I did one object, I would call this a filter, and you explain a concept on the left and you show the end result of the concept on the right side. Very simple slide very good looking and as you can see pretty effective because i can convey the message in it i hope tutorials like that are something that you are fond of that you like and i'm answering directly to your comments and if you would like to have more such simple tutorials please let me know and i'd be happy to to come up with some ideas how to do items like that thanks for listening and see you in other tutorials as always